first time I ever encountered To Kill a Mockingbird was the film, and it was on television one afternoon, and I don't think I had intended to watch it, but when I walked in the room, I heard Scout's voice, and I was like, wait, here's someone who sounds a little like me, and so I got intrigued, and I watched the movie, and the next day, I remember, uh, my mother worked at Pepperell at the sewing mill, and I uh, remember begging her, let me stay in town and uh, so I can check the book out of the library, and she did, but I had to go out to the car and get a note from her because I wasn't old enough to read it yet. <laughs> so she wrote the note so that I could read To Kill a Mockingbird, and it was kind of interesting. I was around 11, and it was also the same year that the schools were uh, desegregated. And I think having read it at that age and with all the political stuff that was going on, uh, you know, Kennedy was assassinated, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, all of that same year, and then it was our first year of having desegregated schools. And I think having read that changed the way I thought about the world. I, you know, totally kind of just did a U-turn in my thinking. And so I've always appreciated that book for that reason. I think it, it, it changed who I was, it changed the way I looked at the world, changed the way I felt about things. And it's probably the first book I ever read because all we had at the house was the Holy Bible, TV Guide, and Grit Magazine. It really, you know, opened my eyes to things that were different. I grew up on a farm, small farm, so, uh, you know, we were, uh, the social structure in To Kill a Mockingbird, I knew very well because there were city kids and there were country kids. And there was always a difference between us. And so I could relate to that. And it just really opened my mind uh, to, you know, change my way of viewing the world. As a writer, I really did not even realize until I just reread it how much it had affected me as a writer. I think when I, I've been working on my second book, and if you had asked me what my influences were, I would have probably said Harper Lee, but I would have never thought that that book would have affected me so much as how my character holds herself and speaks and talks. She, uh, she's very sassy, a lot like Scout is. And so it's that voice that seems to be channeling, although I wouldn't say I based it on Scout, but definitely it was influenced by Scout. There were some characters I had not really paid that much attention to the first time I read it. Uh, Maudie Atkinson is one of those characters, and she's delightful, but the first time I read it, I was 11. So I wasn't into looking at the voice in it and really trying to do a character analysis as you do when you get older. You know, you want to try to understand everything that's in the book. So I, I think that is one thing, that I've looked at these characters, and I've seen how Maudie represents, uh, she says somewhere in the book after the um, jury comes back in, how she waited for the jury to, for everyone to come back from the courthouse. And she said, you know, it's a small step, it's a baby step, but it's a step. And I love how she represents that part of the South that I think people still probably misunderstand. I loved that how the title came about in the characters because Boo was a mockingbird. He was, he never bothered anyone. His only purpose was to sing. Uh, as when they were explaining why you should never kill a mockingbird, uh, mockingbirds don't bother anyone. All they do is entertain us and sing. And Boo was much like that because he took care of those children. You know, he watched them from the window. He helped them. He was there. At when Jim needed him the most, the night that those kids needed him the most. And uh, then I think also Robinson was like a mockingbird. And I, I love how without overly producing that theme of the mockingbird, the title is just so beautifully woven into it because you can look through there and see all the people in that book who are really mockingbirds. So I like that.